when it comes to gaining muscle, a lot of people think that the way to gain muscle is just to sit down and eat a plate of food that contains a lot of protein. As if just eating protein-rich foods is going to somehow magically put muscle on your shoulders and your chest and your abs, and then you're going to look like a bodybuilder, right? A lot of people have this perception that muscle is built on your plate. And the answer is muscle is not built by simply eating foods that are rich in protein. It's also not built by eating uh, excessive amounts of calories. That is something that you can do to gain mass. But if you're looking specifically to gain muscle, then you're going to have to do something else first. And that other thing that you have to do first before you just sit down and eat food, you have to use your musculature to induce a state known as hypertrophy. Okay. And hypertrophy effectively means a complicated biological super nerd term for uh, using your musculature and creating a state of uh, advanced uh, muscle. When you get into the hypertrophic state, you're using your musculature to a point where it now has to adapt in order to become stronger to resist that same amount of work the next time. Okay. So, as an example, if I got down on the floor and I tried to knock out 100 push ups, okay, over the course of the next call it hour, okay, um, that might be challenging. So if I were to tell you your goal is to try and knock out 100 push-ups, you might be like, oh, 100 push-ups? I haven't done 100 push-ups since high school, right? Okay, if you were to try and do that, what would end up happening is that your chest muscles, who haven't been used for a long period of time, would, over the course of that 100 push-ups, go into a hypertrophic state, meaning that you would put so much work into them that they would eventually get to a point where they were experiencing micro tears, and then those micro tears have to get repaired. And when those micro tears get repaired, then the muscle becomes stronger. The muscle becomes stronger, you then continue to eat more food. That food can then repair the muscle tissue and grow the muscle tissue. And then you can end up gaining weight over the course of time. Okay. So hypertrophy must exist first. And then you can eat food. And especially if you're eating foods that are green light foods that are actually high in carbohydrate energy, you will find that your ability to gain muscle is much higher than you might believe. And as a result of that, inducing hypertrophy plus eating a low-fat plant-based whole food diet can be a very powerful combination for gaining mass and for gaining muscle. But again, most people think, well, it's all about protein, protein, protein. And don't get me wrong, protein absolutely helps. But you can't just eat protein by itself, nor can you just eat a bunch of carbohydrate by itself. You got to go use your musculature first. And when you do that, then you're creating a state where your muscle tissue is actually hungry, it's asking for nutrients, and then those nutrients can go rebuild the muscle tissue so that they're stronger for the next time. 100%. I mean, Cyrus, I think you're a great example of building muscle because when you started out, I remember you telling stories about how your friends were like, hey, man, like, why are you so thin right now? Totally. I mean, you've, you've turned that around. So clearly a living, breathing example of this point. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I, I forgot about that, truth be told. But you're right. When I started this process, I was uh, 160 pounds. Okay. And then I switched over to eating a low fat plant-based whole food diet. I went from 160 to 156 to 152 to 148. So I lost 12 pounds. And the reason for that was because I literally did not know how much food I had to eat. Okay. Then my friends were like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing to yourself, man? You look frail. You got to put on some muscle. What's going on? So then I recognized that the work that I was doing at the gym was very helpful, but yet I just simply wasn't eating enough food. So I began to eat a little bit more food. I added a slight, slightly increased my protein intake just a little bit. And I went from being 148 pounds back up to 160, back up to 163, which is where I am now. So I ended up gaining back those 12 pounds plus another three pounds. As you can see, the photo of me on the screen right here was made by uh, artificial intelligence. I don't know <laughs> anything. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that photo was taken of me actually back in 2017. I'm actually slightly bigger than that at this point. But the idea here is that gaining muscle is something that's very doable, but you just have to have the right strategy. You have to go make sure you use your musculature first, and then you have to refill the calorie tank that you depleted. And when you do it that way, you can certainly gain mass. And if you're consistent about that, and you're doing that multiple times per week without injuring yourself, you can get to a point where you're making significant gains in both mass as well as muscle tissue. And that right there is a good thing. This video was just a snippet of a much more in-depth discussion. Click on the link on the screen to check out the full-length episode. Now, the science behind health is overly complicated, unfortunately, but getting healthy doesn't have to be. Visit masteringdiabetes.org start. Answer some questions about yourself and schedule a free consultation to talk with somebody on our team who's going to show you exactly how we've transformed the lives of thousands of people using the Mastering Diabetes Method. We have a limited number of spots available, and that's why it's imperative to find a good fit. Again, 
Visit masteringdiabetes.org slash start to schedule a free zero commitment discovery call and start taking control of your health today.